Hey guys, it's Wolf Wengler. This is a little video about testing and tuning the Tempest to get it to run at altitude here in Colorado. I've put together a couple different clips for this to show you the whole process. The sequence is do the ignition first and then the car. I've got the idle mixture screws turned in to lean it out, but there's more work to be done. Fuel comes in at five different levels in a carburetor. First you're on the idle circuit and then you move up into the transition slot. Those two run to about 2400 RPMs. Then you're into the mains, then you're into the power valve, and finally you're into the secondaries. All that incoming fuel is drawn by vacuum, but first you need a mechanical pump shot. Here it is in slow motion again. Remember, all the different fuel metering systems in a carburetor are individually adjustable. And the key to a good tune is having everything right, from start up and idle to wide open throttle. So to get the car to run up here at 5,000 feet where there's less air, the idle circuit took three basic adjustments. Um, the idle feed restriction that supplies the fuel to the idle mixture adjusting screw needed to be made a little bit smaller. When the idle was right, it was still too rich, about 1,800-2,000 RPMs in the transition slot. So this carburetor has a little jet in the transition slot circuit, and I had to reduce the size of that jet. The idle air bleed is the last component in tuning the idle circuit. When you're looking at a carburetor from the top, there's two small air bleeds on the outboard end of each Venturi. The outside of those two air bleeds is the idle air bleed, and the inside one is the high speed air bleed. A bigger idle air bleed leans the idle mixture slightly, but more importantly, it causes the T slot to taper off sooner so you don't have the T slot and the main jet supplying gas at the same time. You want a clean transition from the T slot and the mains take over. So I moved on to the mains. Um, the key to getting the mains right is making it as lean as it'll go. Make it stupid lean so that when you go down the road you got a noticeable surge and then start putting fuel back just enough until that surge goes away. But what happens when you come to a hill and you have to bear down on the gas pedal a little? That's where the power valve comes in. And when you're running your mains as lean as you can, you need to open up the power valve enrichment channel so that when you bear down on it a little bit, when your cruise vacuum drops from, say, 20 um, inches down to 10, if you've got a 10 power valve, that power valve is going to open. And that's why I run a higher power valve than a 6.5 because I'm running real lean on the main and I want that power yeah, valve to take it out on the sooner. street run up and down the block a little bit. See where we're at. The high speed air bleed influences wide open throttle. A smaller high speed air bleed will make wide open throttle richer and a bigger idle air bleed makes idle mixture leaner. It's fat. You can just hear it. It's running overly rich. Just sluggish. And you can see it on the AFR, 11s and 12s and then 13s when it comes back to idle. At this point I need to take some fuel out of the transition slot because we're running pretty much on that. I'm going to go down a jet on the primary, take a little bit out of the power valve control channel. And then when I get the primary side running right, we can go back and take a little bit of fuel out of the secondaries. You know when you've taken out too much because the car will surge. You see it's idling okay and it comes off the line and off into the transition slot okay. Alright, here we are cruising along on the mains. I bear down on a little bit, gets a little 
little bit lean and now it richens up as the power valve comes in. Here we are, low speed idle circuit. So here's where Colorado is a little different. Little rolling hills, low speed, in and out of the transition circuit. Uh, little gas up on the mains. And then down into the idle circuit again. It just sounds like shit. I think there's a plug fouled. So here are those plugs. Look at the back one on the right. See how it's kind of glazed over? That one's dead. I-13's just loping along on the idle circuit, bottom of the transition slot. And so it goes, the boring adjustment of the idle and intermediate circuit, but it's where you spend a lot of your time driving. It's really important to have your car run right at 2,000 RPMs, lower RPMs. Sounds a lot more civilized now, doesn't it? Just warming up, got a little more heat in it. Unfortunately, the GoPro mount's got a little vibration in it, too. I'll get that fixed, then we'll get out on the bigger road and get into the secondaries a little bit. where I'm at right now. Idle's pretty good, runs good through the transition circuit, nice on the mains, and getting on it going down the road runs good with the pedal to the floor. <clears throat> Gonna pretty much leave it where it is now and just drive it for a while. Officer? No, I'm just an old guy driving this old classic car out for a nice ride in the sunshine. Thank you for what you do. Have a nice day.